Hi, I am Srizan of class 9 from St. John's Public School, Chennai. And the project that I have done for the Spy Hackathon competition is Smart Digital Student Database. And here you go. So this is the project that I am doing for the Spy Hackathon competition. And that the title of those is Smart Digital Student Database. Smart Digital Student Database. Why I have selected the title thing? Because I have felt that many teachers are having some hindrance in giving the marks of students, entering of the mark of students in the database. And they search line by line to get and data. So I felt that this would be an appropriate solution for those teachers. It has two segments that is backend and frontend. Backend uses the command and the frontend as usual it takes off the aligning and design. So now let's see how this works by the demo. Now see, I have used the database software is SQLite. So here, it is asking for the name, class, section and the marks. All of those are these labels and these entry boxes. And this is the list box, scroll bar and these are the buttons. So now I am entering some sample name, class, section and marks. I have already inserted some data for test and also for showing you. Now let's just, I will add some name and some text, right? I'm giving mini as one name, class 9, B, and then 190, and another name. I just add. So, this is the first button add. So, the use of the first button add is to place all of this data in the table that is this database. And the most favorite part of me is the search button because this would be the proper solution for all of those teachers who are having some hindrance in entering the marks. So now for example, I want the students who have covered 100 marks in math. So I just give 100 and I give search. It shows all of the students who have got 100 marks in math. So mini, which I have entered now, Vijay, Arun, Manny, Anna. It shows all of those. If I want a particular student's name, then I give. For example, Vijay, I give. And then give search. It shows what and all Vijay has got. And this thing is getting because this is also a test. So it is also giving here. So I am just giving Vijay and also other empty places. Even for that, it comes as a result. Next, the view all. The view all, if I click, I can get this whole thing. So if I just scroll up and scroll down, I can see those all of those things, right? So here I have Adam and the all of those things which I have added. For so this is the thing of view all. Then I do close, it closes. So now let's go to the back. Here I am importing the module called SQLite. So the SQLite is used for connecting the Python and the SQLite that is server. So now let's see. I am connecting first the Python and SQLite, then I am creating a database. And then I am creating a table that contains each value. Then I am inserting each value into each column. Then the important part that is the command. So I am giving the command for both view and search. Next, I will take the front end. In the front end, I have the tkinter that is a module and importing all. So stars means all over here. So same over here, I have asked select all from marks. Here also I am telling select all from marks. Mark is a table. So it marks and then in search, it works like it filters the value which I have given and gives an appropriate result. So now let's go back to that front end. So here I am importing the back end because it has this command. So here and then let's see, I have given, given appropriate rows for each thing and then I have also given the command for each button. So here I have given a common command but here I have given a specific command because it will be useful for each command so there is no chaos over here. And then I am placing the label over here, the place I am giving the text, what should contain, the background color, the font, font color and then the font name and the font size. So what font? I have given Times New Roman and 18 size. And then I am placing it. So x is equal to 200, y is equal to 10, I am placing the text. Then same for entry, I am giving the text variable as class. Here this is for class, this is for name, this is for section etc. So the same happens for each. Here I am giving for list and this is for the scroll bar. The next, I am binding the list box which I have given here with the database. Next, the main part that is the button. So same here, I am also giving the button. 
so add comment search comment view comment and group dot destroy over here so i am giving the text is close the width the pad y the pad y is used for this aligning the width is also for same the positioning is this and the design right and then the background color is black and the geometry 828 so that is the end of this program i hope every details are helped using this thing and they don't have any hindrance anymore and i hope that you like my project and that's it for this project thank you